Marcus Conte reporting on the Gulf of Yemen. <laughs> the Gulf of Yemen. You heard that uh, too. That uh, ship, a ship was was blown up, or or a couple of holes were poked in the side of it by Iranians. The Iranians are on the attack. Ah, 1984 war is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. Do we believe it? Do we believe that that uh, a I, that Iranian patrol boat uh, was was responsible for blowing holes in the side of a Japanese-owned Kukaka Kukaka <laughs> Kukuka? Uh, courageous. That's the name of the uh, Japanese-owned ship. Uh, one of the oil tankers damaged in the Gulf of Yemen. Do we believe it? Well, who's saying that it, it happened? First, let's look at the video. Let's look at the video. If you haven't seen the video, I know it's a day or two late, but check it out. Here's the video of what appears, what, what the U.S. is claiming, Pompeo and the lying bunch, Bolton, the, uh, the, the deep state swamp is saying that this is an Iranian ship. It's, a, it's an Iranian crew removing a mine from the side of a boat in the Gulf of Oman. Oman, Gulf of Oman. Right? And um, it, uh, allegedly they're removing it to remove evidence. Let's watch. There's no sound. This is what the CIA produced. This is a, a CIA Pentagon production smear piece on Iran. There's no detail. You can't see face. You can't see... I mean, come on. We, we have high-tech cameras. You can't get a face. You can't see any imagery. It's just like a bunch of guys with towels on their heads, right? You can't see the hole. What are they doing? It's just, it's just, it's this is bullshit. It's the whole thing so far. The whole story is stacked on this piece of evidence. But Pompeo doubles down. You'll hear him say, "Oh, it was all this other shit that happened." Right. Now this is this is what the United States is is leaning on. This video, released by the deep state, released by the Pentagon. It doesn't show anything damaging. How many more minutes of this crap? Uh, so it's a, it's a minute 30. They release it. No faces. No markings on the boat. It, it, could, be a, it, it could be a Hollywood set. You know, it could, be, it could be anywhere, really, at any time in history. Right. There's nothing to it. It's not. It's not evidence. It's just a boat out in the water. And it, it allegedly they were removing a mine. So why? <laughs> this is crazy shit, right? So, so here's Pompeo. Here's his assessment. It is the assessment of the United States government that the Islamic Republic of Iran is responsible for the attacks that occurred in the Gulf of Oman today. Before we do that, though, let's look at let's look at the uh, actual. So so again. It's a, it's, that was in the Gulf of Oman. Right? <laughs> Iran has denied involvement in the attack. And uh, Yutaka ta, ta, ha, ta, da, <laughs> ta, Yutaka, the owner, Japanese owner of the Kukuku Courageous, contradicted, it contradicted the Trump administration's account during a press conference on Friday. This is the owner of the ship saying it. The owner of the ship. Our crew said that the ship was attacked by a, quote, flying object, Kakuku said. I do not think there was a time bomb or an object attached to the side of the ship. Wow. And now we'll listen to how Pompeo spins it. Right. So that's the owner of the ship saying that there was uh, nothing, right? that there was a flying object. Right? So maybe, a, you know, a, a drone strikes, like some kind of... Uh, you know, a, a, a shot from, you know, shot from the bow somewhere, right? And Iranian, uh, Iran has uh, denied the attack. So the, the accused has denied it, and the, the, the per people that were attacked say, no, 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 it wasn't a boat, it was, uh, it was a flying object. Right? And the U.S. turns around and says, no, Iran did it. Uh, no doubt about it, 100%. 
beating the drum. And the and of course the non critical media has has uh, jumped on the bandwagon. So this is you know this is manufacturing consent for war. This is the same story that we saw in um, Iran uh, in uh, Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Right? Here's the circumstantial evidence. Right? Really no evidence. Now we have a blurry video. A blurry video. Right? And all of the mainstream media is jumping on the bandwagon. Right? All jumping on saying, oh, no, no, no. Tanker attacked. U.S. video shows Iran military removing mine. Right? So let's, let's listen to uh, Pompeo one more time. Let's listen to... This the U.S. spin machine. It is the assessment. Oh, you know what? Let's listen to my... Here he is over here. Watch. I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's it like... We, we, had, we had entire... We had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh... It, it, it reminds you of the, uh, uh, the glory of the American... We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. Mm -hmm. It's... Okay, so Mike Pompeo, we lie, we cheated, we stole. Let's listen to him now. Right? So he's a liar. He's a cheater. He, he steals. Of the United States government, that the Islamic Republic of Iran is responsible for the attacks that occurred in the Gulf of Oman today. This assessment is based on intelligence, the weapons used, the level of expertise needed to execute the operation, recent similar Iranian attacks on shipping, and the fact that no proxy group operating in the area has the resources and proficiency to act with such a high degree of sophistication. This is only the latest in a series of attacks instigated by the Islamic Republic of Iran and its surrogates against American and allied interests. And they should be understood in the context of 40 years of unprovoked aggression against freedom-loving nations. On April 22nd, Iran promised the world that it would interrupt the flow of oil through the Strait of Hormuz. It is now working to execute on that promise. In early May, the Revolutionary Guard Corps attempted the covert deployment of modified DAOs capable of launching missiles. On May 12th, Iran attacked four commercial ships near the Strait of Hormuz. On May 14th, Iran-backed surrogates attacked by armed drones struck two strategically important oil pipelines in the Saudi Arabia. On May 19th, a rocket landed near the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. On May 31st, a car bomb in Afghanistan wounded four U.S. service members, killed four Afghan civilians, and wounded bystanders. Yesterday, Iranian surrogates fired a missile into Saudi Arabia, striking the arrivals terminal of an international airport, injuring 26 people. What is a surrogate? Listen to what he's saying. It never, it never says specifically. It just says it's the equivalent of saying, like, there's a rogue... A rogue operation, uh, like the the uh, the mafia, like the mob in America, right? And there's this mob, and and then and then the mob does something, and then you blame the United States government and the people in it for the actions of a mob. Right? Now, is that I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm not even saying that that's what happened. That there's a mob working within Iran because there's even no evidence of that. It just all we have is a blurry video and a bunch of allegations from a known liar. A liar, someone who lies and cheats and steals, was the head spook of the CIA, a trained liar. Taken as a whole, these unprovoked attacks present a clear threat to international peace and security, a blatant assault on the freedom of navigation, and an unacceptable campaign of escalating tension. It's so insulting to have him do this with the American flag right behind him. By Iran. Hi, everyone. All right, so... So that, that's Mike Pompeo, right? So here's, here's CNN spinning it, and we'll wrap it up. We have this new video from the Pentagon to show you. The U.S. says that this shows Iranian forces removing an unexploded mine from a tanker in the Gulf of Oman. Defense officials believe Iranians were trying to get rid of evidence here. Now, this incident comes at a time of... Trying to get rid of evidence here. What? Of ...escalating tensions between the U.S. and Iran Adding support for the U.S. claims, the United Kingdom now says it has no doubts over the... There's no more critical thinking in the mainstream media. CNN is supporting this without challenging the known liar, cheater, and stealer, Mike Pompeo, 
And, and of course, John Bolton, just the warmongers, just warmongers. Now, is Trump playing, Trump, oh, my God, it's 3D chess, Conte, you don't understand. It's, it's 5D chess now. It's, five, it's Trump playing 5D chess. Threaten Iran with war. Threaten Iran with war. P- put stuff, put, put garbage on them, right? Paint them as, as bombers and terrorists, right? Stack the evidence against them. Right? Run it through the media, and then, then we'll negotiate. Then, well, you know, Trump will come out and say, well, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. I don't know. No, I don't want war. Let's make a deal. Is that what, is that what, you, is that what you're going to think? Validity of this video. I want to go first to CNN's Michelle Kaczynski with this new video released, which the Pentagon seems to suggest the Iranians were behind the attack on these tankers. How could you believe the Pentagon and what they're saying? These people are, are fools. They just... Right? The, the Pentagon, the known liars, the cheaters, and stealers, the, fabri- the, the ones who fabricated and promoted the Russian narrative for, for, for two and a half years, are now providing this, this blurry video. Can't you see that it's a stupid, blurry video? Can't you make up your own mind? Can't you look and say, this doesn't make sense? Where's the, ev- where's the underlying evidence? Right? Why didn't you grab the people on the boat? You got a video of it. Why didn't you get them on the boat? Why you're you're patrolling the, the you know the, the 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 Gulf of Oman anyway, right? Police is the U.S. are the police police of the world, right? So how come they don't have a, a body? How come they don't have a anything more than a blurry video? Bullshit. Yeah, we're also seeing a much different tack now from the last time this happened, only weeks ago when other ships were attacked in the Persian Gulf. The administration was very reluctant to even say that Iran was suspected. It was more than a week later and the Secretary of State was saying maybe Iran was behind it. Now, though, we see them get out there immediately, publicly, definitively saying this was Iran and here's some evidence. So they're they're actually supporting the the narrative now, but there's no, it's it's very it's mildly critical, it's mildly critical the way she just described it that the that the the agencies are now getting out in front of the story, right, with no no real solid evidence. This dramatic. This is this is an interesting part, right here where this woman says something that's fascinating. Listen to this. Lenza White House correspondent and Susan Glasser, staff writer for The New Yorker and CNN Global Affairs analyst. We got a lot of news breaking this morning. We're going to try to get to all of it. Susan, I want to start with this new video we're just trying to analyze now, released overnight, which Pentagon officials say shows the Iranians removed. And why would they do this? Listen to this. Well, look, this is a pretty uh, compelling evidence offered by the United States. I think it's interesting if you. A compelling, it's compelling evidence offered by the United States. Continue. The New Yorker. You start to see uh, U.S. allies as well weighing in and saying that they find it to be convincing evidence. Iran uh, is the likeliest suspect in this situation. It also, it carries echoes of previous rounds of tension. Uh, uh, What about the evidence of the the owner of the ship saying that he saw drone, he saw things flying, flying objects, that they were under attack? What happened to that? ratcheting up uh, threats to tankers going through the Straits of Hormuz, one of the riskiest global flashpoints uh, you know that there is a, in the sense that it's a bottleneck. Uh, these tankers are often sitting ducks. We, you know, harken back to the 1980s. It's all about the price of oil, folks. That's it. It's all about oil. There's no freedom and no <sighs> fighting for democracy. It's fighting for oil, right? The possession of oil. Who gets to who gets to run the the Gulf of Oman for oil? and the and the tanker war. There's already talk that perhaps we should have U.S. warships escorting tankers uh, through the straits in order to head off a future round of this but pulling back the do you know how expensive that would be to have warships escorting the the tankers through the gulf of oman the u.s would be paying picking up the tab for that are you kidding me question is where are we going with this let's let's take the uh administration's claim at face value that right there Let's take the let's take the administration's claim at face value. Let's hear us say it again. Where are we going with this? Let's let's take the uh, administration's claim at face value that the Iranians are responsible. No, I, I will not. I will not take it at face value. What what kind of idiot takes anything that the liar and the cheater and the stealer claims to be true? Right? It's just it's just sick. So so that's a I mean that's a it's it looks complete you know 
very, very obvious to this person watching. I don't know what you think, but it's certainly to me, it looks like a fabricated story, a story on very sketchy evidence. The, the CIA, and it, last week there was an alleged bombing with no evidence. Now there's a video, a very, a very scratchy video of, you know, a blurry video of a bunch of guys with towels, towels on their heads and, and, and on a boat out in the uh, Gulf of Oman, uh, approaching a boat, taking something away from the boat rather than putting something on the boat. And uh, the, 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 the actual boat owner says, oh, no, no, that was a drone, drone strikes. I don't know, man. We're living in troubled times, right? Consenting people are going to die over this if the U.S. goes in and, and decides on Iran. You've got another 10, 15 years of, and trillions of dollars down the toilet. No, no health care in this country. You know, they'll, just, they'll spend all that money, man. Military industrial complex loves this shit. Right? See where we are? Military industrial complex, right? This is not about freedom at home and, and democracy and, uh, and, and, you know, it's about oil. It's about the price of oil right? and finding an enemy, finding an enemy and then creating a war with them to keep the military industrial complex going. Is it, is it that hard to figure out, really? Is it that hard to figure out? Marcus Conte reporting. Conte become a uh, sponsor of this channel. Company, become a sponsor of this channel by becoming a uh, a Patreon for as little as a dollar or two dollars uh, a a month, and uh, and we'll keep the you know we'll keep the message going. Marcus Conte reporting.